This video illustrates the use of the vein selector to create a rail over which you can advance a subselector. And so this is the a patient with an epicart with a, uh, a lead that's causing phrenic pacing and it's five or six years old so the thought was not to take it out. Um, and so you can see the anatomy here, tortuous segment, another lead already in place. So adding a lead to this same vein could be potentially very difficult and there was no other vein to go to. So we first uh, have the sheath here, the vein selectors back here, and then we engage the vein with a standard shape vein selector because it seems to fit that vein particularly well. And then once we engage the vein, then we advance a wire. Once the wire's in place, um, we add a second wire. So now we have two wires down the vein. Um, one of them is a V18 control wire, which is a very powerful wire, provides a lot more support uh, than an o any other than an 014 wire, simply because it's 018. And then um, it, it makes this the V18 wire makes a uh, like an Iron Man or something that seemed like a wet noodle. So it's a very helpful wire to provide support over which we can advance the vein selector uh, deep into the target vein. From there, um, we are able to advance the subselector over the vein selector. The vein selector is stabilized with the wires and the vein selector creates a rail over which you can advance the subselector. So now we have the subselector deep in the branch. And then from there, uh, we just remove the vein selector uh, and put the lead in. So I think you're going to find vein selectors to be terribly helpful. Uh, they really make any subselector uh, much more powerful.